Hello. These are called vacutainers. Why do you think they're called vacutainers? What says vacuette? Vacutainer, vacuette. Yeah, so they've got a vacuum in them. Why do they have a vacuum in them? Cool the blood out. Yeah, because this job sucks. <laughs> yeah, so the blood sucks in them. These are um, vacutainer hubs. When you donate, back they used to use these in the human healthcare a fair bit, but now they use stuff that's a bit safer so people don't actually get needle sticks. So they're a lot more, uh, a lot fancier than, but this is what they used to use. And they still use them a fair bit in the uh, in human healthcare. And then these are double-ended needles. Do you want to just break that in half? There you go, Arlie, just split it. Oh. Oh, yeah. when you do just twist it because when you pull like that oh, what's man. happens no not that you're gonna do it badly but when you yeah. when you pull what happens is sometimes you jerk and then you go you're likely yeah. to stick yourself okay. so do a twisting yeah. motion as you pull it and you're less likely to yeah, yeah. so then then that see how it's threaded on that end yeah that just threads into there oh yeah there you go, there you go. hang yeah. on to that righty tighty lefty loosey yeah okay. nice and snug beautiful yeah. now that's loaded see so if, when that comes off see there's Ooh. a needle in there so this end pokes into the bottle Sometimes they make these with a little condom on them for safe bleeding. But, um, so then when we've got an animal, we'll write the idea of the animal on the tube. Now, when you're writing on tubes, see, they've got, for the human healthcare system, they got like surname, first name, part number, date of birth, what ward, date, time, signature, etc., etc. We just want the idea of the animal, right? Yeah. But you always want to do it the same way. So if you're left, if you're right handed, hold the tube in your left hand and write from left to right. That way, 69 doesn't get mixed up with 69. Well, that's not a good analogy, but you, you get the analogy, don't you? So, um, yeah, always hold it in one hand and write the number across from left to right. And then, yep, once that's done, then you can just move it forward in the line, beep, and then you replace the needle. Because yeah. what we're looking for in this today is we're gonna be looking for antibodies to bovine festivirus, BVD. And there's 200 animals in the mob, so by bleeding 5%, we're essentially asking them, have you ever met a carrier? For BVD, which is called a PI, persistently infected animal. And if we asked 10 girls, have you ever met a PI? And they all go, no, nah, never met a PI. Then we know there are no persistently infected animals in that mob. So we don't need to ear notch them. We don't need to hunt it. If we ask 10 of them, have you ever met a PI? And they all go, uh huh. Then we go, you've all met a PI? Mm -hmm. Then we go, right. Then one of you or more of you might be a PI. Or you met a PI historically. Regardless, there could be PIs in there. And PIs are going to waste away and die. And when they meet other animals who are trying to get pregnant, they can interfere with pregnancy and they can cause abortion or the production of more PIs. So because these animals are going to be recipients, their embryos, the embryos that are going into, into them are very valuable, like about a grand a piece. We don't want to be plunking it into an animal that's going to waste away and die or an animal that's going to infect another animal when she's pregnant to cause her to lose that conceptus. So it's a really important trick. If they're antibody negative, we're going to vaccinate them with PestiGuard, which is the only vaccine we have in Australia for BVD. <clears throat> if they're already antibody positive, then there's no, not a whole lot of sense in vaccinating them. So, so essentially by bleeding 5%, so 10 animals, say it's a $20 test. So that means it costs, can you do the quick maths on me? I'm bleeding 5% at 20 bucks. Uh, 5%? Well, uh, Works out to a, doll, a dollar a head. So it's gonna cost us a dollar a head to screen those animals to make a decision of whether we're gonna put two doses of PestiGuard into them, which is $10, or ear them, which is about $10. So that's a value proposition. Yeah. And that's good science. And that's good farming. Just like doing agronomy, soil testing. Here's the boss. <laughs> hey. All right. So once we get going, we'll get you guys to video us what we're doing. We can talk about what we're doing as we're loading them up. Yep. Get some footage of this action happening. Um, writing the IDs down here. Having a drink of Maximus. <laughs> Hi. Today's YouTube video is brought to you by Maximus. <laughs> Pine <awesome>. lime. <laughs> there you go. So that'll be cool, eh? Get on the Rad. sponsorship for that one. Get on the sponsorship bus, Maximus. Step into my office. <laughs> hey Jack, the tail, come here and have a look underneath. See that come underneath here, Arlie? See the bones there of the tail? Yeah. You can see like a little dimple in between, that's it right in the middle of the bones. You just yep. hold the blood tube like yay. Hoping. Put the vacuum container up. Voila! That's, That's how we bleed them. That. That's as easy as that. Here you go, Gordon. I'll give you that. We'll be in that. Sweet. I don't mind. You can go put that back in the rack and uh, go.